that are behind the early takedown. Let's talk keys to a victory for each of these guys. Reese, let's start with the American. Ha heavy hands. Heavy hands, as always. A lot of pressure using his leg drive to get him towards the edge of the mat. That's what's going to open up his offense. We already saw him get on that high crotch. He's also looking for a cross ankle pick that he finishes with his head up, and he gets on the high crotch from there as well. If he can get his hands on his opponent and apply a lot of pressure, that's going to be the advantage for Snyderman. And then you look on the other side for Sakulov. What has been the key for him to propel into this spotlight stage? Hold position. Keep him off your head. Stay in the match. Finish some takedowns late. Go ahead. It's going to be a tight one. Snyder was the one who was cut. They have cleaned it up, and we go back to action. Not quite a minute in. Sakulov giving some ground here. Snyder moves in a little bit, measuring his strikes. You see that quick hand tap to the forehead. And the official has seen enough of that. Again, he's going to warn both wrestlers. Snyder moves in with a collar tie. Reaching for the low ankle. Cool off, recircles back into the center. And we'll have a verbal warning given to the Slovakian. Sakulov, he shoots off the whistle. Snyder was ready, goes behind, unable to latch on to anything. Near the edge of the mat, Sakulov is going to have to try to reposition. He'll bunker down here. What a great job not giving up any points there. Took a, a risk by shooting on the whistle there, and moving into one of Snyder's best positions, the front headlock. But as Kyle Snyder went backside, Sakulov did a stand up, controlled the hands, and escaped. Sakulov very close to getting put up onto the activity clock, and it's coming right now. So the clock will be put up, left hand corner, 30 seconds. Snyder, an opportunity to extend his lead inside a minute to go in this first period. Duck under attempt, but back into that front headlock position. Activity period expires. That point is going to go to Snyder. Action. Snyder with a 3-0 lead. We get to short time wrestling, closing moments of period number one. It's been Snyder in this first period controlling the mat. Working near the edge to cool off. The second to go, and that is it. One period in the books. And the United States of America trying to close out what has been a fantastic world championships with another gold medal. Interesting story when you look at Kyle Snyder. He actually reached out to Taha Ghoul. Those two had a joint training camp. Despite Taha not being able to speak English, he accepted the American's invitation. He sent a, a private message on Instagram to Taha, and Taha said, yeah, we'll come over, and he's been over multiple times to train. Yeah, he used to come to Ohio State while I was training in there. I would just keep my distance, <laughs> so I didn't get Smart man. <laughs> but, yeah, those guys were going at it. And Snyder, it's not very easy for him to find partners, but Taha Agul is bigger and insanely good himself. And so to watch those guys be in that room was very fun and uh, it helped me a lot. Okay, and so then one push out. He's been getting him to the edge. Snyder's been getting Sakulov to the edge a lot, but unable to score. He changes that in the second period, getting a push out up four to zero. Saw so Taha Ghoul win a gold medal for Turkey. Eh? Schneider now trying to win a gold for the United States at 97. 4 0, Kyle Snyder. Action. It's a cool off, a multiple national runner up. 
for Russia. Throughout his time representing the Russian Wrestling Federation. Again, Snyder just dictating where he goes on the mat. He will lunge near the edge and tack on an additional point. So in the first period, he was controlling the mat. He just wasn't getting the step outs. Now in the second period, that's twice he's been able to get Sekulov out of bounds. The hand fight, the relentlessness, that stuff wears on you in the second period. And Sekulov doing a great job being agile on the edge in the first, but looks a little bit tired in this second period. Snyder feeling it. You can see him picking it up, even though he's up 5-0. to zero. The most gold medals for the United States in a world championship. Twice they won four golds, 1993 and 1995. The U.S. with golds at 74, 79, 86, and now trying to win the gold medal at 97. Snyder with a 5-0 advantage, approaching a minute. There's a shot by Sekulov, countered beautifully there by Snyder. Driving him near the edge, double unders applied. Snyder working. And he tack on an additional step out point, trying to thrust him that way. And he finally finishes it off with one more. And there's that getting wavy, lost in the soft technique, pushing and then pulling. You can't stop both directions. Jacking him up with the underhooks, pulling him down to the front headlock, ending up with the push out, six to zero, Kyle Snyder. This has been a very workmanlike Kyle Snyder performance in this gold medal match. Imposing his will physically. 6-0 lead, 38 seconds and counting. Ready for the shot. Repositions near the edge again. We've been down this road before. Only time here is Sekulov is grounded. Snyder, though, is content to let the clock just keep winding down here. The referee will stop it. Maybe one more start in the center. And a celebration for the United States and an exclamation point that they were hoping for from one of their veterans who has been around. Kyle Snyder has been the anchor of the American lineup. The combination that he has provided for USA, and he is going to cap off a pretty special week here in Belgrade, Serbia, for Team USA. And there you have it. Kyle Snyder is your world champion. Eight world medals, four of them gold. An American hero.
Let's go.